Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Um, this week, George says it's my turn to start the conversation. Um, because uh, the topic is something close to your heart. Yeah. All the other topics are close to my yeah, heart. Yeah, it's always forced on me. So, yes. so this, this week, it's my turn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I was just, um, I'm, I'm busy in the pantry and I'm sorting out things and then they... Um, I came um, again in the cupboard. I, I saw this little blackboard um, that I wrote this this quote on um, that's been meaningful to me for a very long time. It was a bit of a surprise again to to to, to see it and to read it again. So I said to George, maybe it must be a, close to twelve years. Yes, thirteen years. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So just to maybe dust it off a bit and just to talk about it because it's such a rich. Uh, image and a, a, a rich quote and it's by Tagore, an Indian poet and um, it says my flower do not seek thy paradise in a fool's buttonhole mm. my flower do not seek thy paradise in a fool's buttonhole mm. and it's just this incredible image um that that just unfolds as you sit with it so um, um, um maybe before we look at the the phrase in itself the quote in itself just something about tagore's ability to use words and images mm. and within such an economical unit mm. a he, couple of words he, he packs a whole message yes. and often it is around garden images but yes. nothing elaborate um, very simple words but put together in a way that sort of just um, draws your attention yeah he's really a master if I'm yeah. not mistaken uh, he also received the Nobel Prize for Literature at one stage mm. I can see why mm. <laughs> I agree. No fool that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so just to to work with that quote is just the the calling somebody my flower is such a, a, a um, term, a of, term endearment. of endearment, like a really like a a very loving way of talking to somebody. To saying it says so much. It mm. says. Um, you're special, you, you're fragile, you're beautiful, you, you're alive. Um, mm. all of you are things, very important to me. You are important to me, my flower. Mm. So that, that in that sense, it's just so beautiful. And, and then it goes on to say, do not seek thy paradise. Don't, don't look for your highest ideal, mm. uh, your heaven on earth, your... Mm. In sense a, of worth yeah your sense of worth in a fool's buttonhole and now that phrase a fool's buttonhole that mm. is one that one has to sit with a little bit and 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 and, and, and let it work with you um a buttonhole in the first instance and a, and a flower worn in a buttonhole mm. is usually on an occasion like um, say a wedding in our context where the, the two families, the close members, would be wearing those mm. little buttonhole um, mm. corsets, I think. Mm. But uh, just on that, uh, I don't want to get sidetracked, but I don't know whether it's the case in other cultures, but in, within the Afrikaans culture, yes. uh, certain functions yes. or happenings, yeah. those... It's almost like a, like a form of distinguishing the people that will be important at this yeah, occasion. So yes. it could be a speaker, mm. it could be um, the wife of a speaker, the, the, the mayor, the whatever, the, the important players in, a, in I, a... I remember in my childhood, often at political rallies, mm. uh, whoever came to speak or was the guest of honour, uh, he usually got these... Uh, and was it a case that the the yes. man's uh, I, I always I still get confused. I did so many weddings where I had to make those, but 
the the female one i think is Oh, I don't know. Showing upwards. The one is upwards and the, the male is down. So there's a whole the style around, around it. Yes, yeah, so it's, and it's, and it's uh, etiquette. So mm. it's, it is, there's rules. Mm. So, um, so, and in terms of the whole image of the quote, um, a buttonhole um, a flower, a flower that's being used, what is that word? Um, we'll say, or a little arrangement is very very um fleeting fleeting it's it will last for that occasion um it might be kept in a, in a little vase for a while might be dried and kept as a souvenir especially with the family members the mother at of a, the bride <laughs> at, at a wedding <laughs> will probably keep hers and and have it, have it dried um but it's it's in any case it means the end of that flower yes yes so there will no, be no more life after that occasion mm. for that flower and the sole purpose of the flower is the enhancing of the image of somebody else yes yes so it's it's to to give some stature to somebody to make them stand out in 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 that situation at the flowers expense at the flowers expense yes so what the boy is saying do not look for your highest ideal in places that is not going to keep you alive mm, beautifully said beautiful. that is going to be the end of your potential the end of your beauty the end of your your, your vibrancy your vibrancy um because in terms of that i feel the image that i get is not of a picked flower when he mm. says my flower mm. it's when, like, in other words while the, this conversation is taking place the flower hasn't been cut off no the flower is is a plant mm. and and in a in soil and and growing and flowering he's and, walking in his garden yes he's walking in his garden he sees this beautiful rose bud and he and he thinks please do not offer your life for something that is going to be so fleeting and mm. that will not um be worth your beauty mm. Mm. and the the fact that he uses the word fool um it's not to say that all people wearing flowers mm. in their buttons are fools as such, mm -mm. but it is a matter of a foolish activity. Um, yeah, it's, it's almost like he uses that, that image of a fool's button mm. in terms of, I think, any situation where uh, it's folly, it's going nowhere, it's... Mm. It's it's not something life giving. Um, it's a foolish enterprise. Mm. So um, so it's not that that when you are wearing one of those, you are now a fool. Not at mm. all. Um, mm. It's an image that's trying to convey the the fleetingness and the futility, the futility of being the flower mm. in that in that situation. Mm. I think that's important to know. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah. Uh, there's no comparison between a buttonhole and a flower bed. No, no. Um, there's, there's absolutely... Yeah. And it can be that the buttonhole is being watched or is being looked at and noticed, and noticed by thousands of people with cameras and lights and everything mm. and the flower bed might be in the back of a very humble house mm. uh, where only the people living in the house enjoy the flower bed mm. but it gets to flower every year yes yeah yes yeah and i think it's easy to to fall into the trap of of becoming um uh, or, or ending up in a, in a buttonhole in terms of if our own self-worth is so closely coupled to somebody else's to 
to being the support always or being uh, like you said on on twitter accounts and facebook page instagram pages the people with the most followers are the people that's in the public eye all of the time mm -hmm. and if for you that is the highest ideal paradise to be one of that group one mm. in the in group there mm. then in the end because you're not the the, the wearer of the button mm. or of, of the suit that has the button you're just the flower you're just embellishing it mm. so in the end it, it's also folly it's also going nowhere mm. so it's also to and personally for me is to look at things that I'm busy with in my life and to mm. really ask myself, is this life giving? Am I am I busy? Am I actually putting myself in a buttonhole? Cutting my mm. my life force? Mm. That what's that's giving me um, nutrition and and putting myself in a buttonhole. Mm. So I think in terms of my personal life it's it's something it can be a job yes that you you do something you in a job you in a workplace where you actually don't feel that it it does you any good that it's that it's enriching for you that it's building you up that it's taking you somewhere mm. growing you mm. Mm. helping you flower for that matter mm. not just growing you mm. Mm. Um, sucking the life out of you. Yes. Yeah. So it can be in a in a work related situation, or it can be in a relationship. It can be in a relationship, <clears throat> and I think the difficult thing with jobs and with relationships is that one, at, when when you become aware that this is actually not something that is that is life giving to you, and you realize how much time you have invested in the button now. Mm. It becomes very difficult to to step out of that. Mm. There's a, a quote that says, "Just because it took you a very long time to make a mistake, doesn't mean you have to carry on with it." Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, and it's not necessarily a mistake. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. a little bit harsh. Because what comes to mind to me is the Buddhist. Um, saying it's the way it is and the way it is is perfect yes so everything is be, harvest yeah, we have to be where we are mm. and we have to discover that we maybe we are not planted in soil or mm. it's very very poorly nourished mm. um, uh, soil um, and and so the fool's button all is a complete extreme end of the road Mm. I would say mm. many of us are not exactly in a button hole, but we're also in situations where we desperately need to have some compost put into the ground mm. and some mm. moisture put into the into the ground. Mm. Mm. So it's just something to look at and to to think about in terms of. Mm. Um, it, it's a um, quote that is really so helpful to do inner work mm. and to do discernment around mm. uh, it's very very handy in that sense and it uh, we said that in the Afrikaans recording as well quotes can be such handy instruments mm. in that sense especially these ones that's an image because it's not something that your rational mind mm. actually gets, but you know that it resonates on a deeper level. Mm. And and if you just maybe file it somewhere, save it somewhere, um, and let it just read it, just let it be there somewhere where you can see it. Mm. It works on you, and it and it and, and it enriches your life, and it helps in terms of discernment. Mm. Mm. And it's not for nothing that that quote popped up. Uh, it might be a bumper sticker. It can be a magnet on a fridge door. Uh, it can uh, be anything. It can be anything. And it's all uh, messages coming through from God, from the universe, the, the, the wider, uh, loving uh, life force uh, communicating with us and 
giving this through and sometimes you're in a position where you have to make a decision and it can be just that mm. that brings clarity mm. and you say mm. you know what this is what is happening yeah. this is what is happening i can't carry on like this yes um so be sensitive to things that pop up the synchronicities mm. uh might be interesting to talk about synchronicities. I don't think... I think we have touched on it. Is it? That's always something we can mm. talk about. But uh, be alert to these phrases. It can be a line. I love lines from movies. Mm. Um, and please share them with us. Mm. It's always so um, good to hear from you and to things that really speak to you as well. And... Um, and story behind that yeah and to share a little bit in your own journey yeah thank you once again for being conversation partners we're always grateful and have a lovely week keep well everyone goodbye bye bye